in the dream, you are falling, lost in the listening distance, as dark locks in. <gasps> Nightfall. How far does this road go? What time is it? Late? There hasn't been a sign for miles. You should be there by now. What time is it? My watch stopped. But it must be midnight. Well, where was the last sign? We could have missed it in this stuff. In roads like this. You know what they say? The more you drink, the straighter the road gets. <laughs> Maybe we should have brought along a bottle. Yeah. A little fog on a road like this. Look. Yeah. Where'd he come from on a night like this? Let's see if he can tell us where we are. You're not going to pick him up. Why not? Oh, I don't like it. Especially at night. How are you now? Oh, you want to... Uh, it's a lousy night. You going far? Just a ways. Not the best night for hitchhiking. Well, I got this far, right? Can you tell us where we are? You don't know? Oh, I think we must have taken a wrong turn in the fog. Oh, no. We're on the right road. The right road to where? You can let me out now. Oh, uh, uh, sure. <laughs> That's a short ride. Uh, where are we? It's been long enough. Here's fine. Thank you. Well, hey, There's a I... hotel along just a ways. You'll find everything you need. Well, but... What do you mean? What do you make of that? <gasps> Pretty sick. Spooky. Did we say something? No. Maybe it's something we didn't say. Eternity Cove Hotel and Lounge. This has to be the place. Eternity Cove. Well, that's what Newfoundland's famous for. Funny place names. And fog. And fish. Don't forget fish. Especially strange ones. I warned you not to pick him up. Well, let's check it out. Sure. I'll get the bags, just in case. Right. I'll be right here. the liveliest spot on earth, is it? Anybody home? Try the bell. Desk! How would you like to be able to say you lived in Jerry's Nose? What? The map here on the wall is a place called Jerry's Nose. Maybe we're in Jerry's Nose and Jerry has a cold. That would explain the fog. Let's hope Jerry doesn't sneeze. Hey, Desk! Here's another one. Empty basket. Lord. Can I help you? Oh, uh... Hi. Uh, I wonder if you could... Yes, uh, we're trying to get to Shallop Cove, and we seem to be lost. No, you're not lost. Not as long as you're here. Oh, you mean it's not far from here? That depends on what you mean by far. Could you show us on the map? It was not too much trouble. Gary. Here's your room. We don't want a room. We just want to know where the hell we are. You read the sign outside. Well, yes, we saw the sign. And that's where you are. Eternity Cove. Our hotel is at your service. Your key, sir. Can't you get into your head that we aren't here for the night? Aren't you? What the hell do you mean? What my husband's trying to say is that we'd like you to tell us how to get to Charlotte Cove. I understand perfectly, ma'am. I'm merely saying you have no choice. Aside from anything else, the fog. Perhaps he's right, Gary. Maybe we should stay the night. Oh, but... The fog is bad, and we're both exhausted. 
But he can't be far from here. Why not check in, Gary? But I can find a... I'm sure it's the best thing. Well, you're probably right. I'll park the car. A wise decision, if I may say so. Your first visit to Newfoundland? Yes. Pity. What do you mean? You're from Ontario. Why, yes. Brampton. Yes, we're from Brampton. How do you know that? How do we know anything? Visiting your daughter and your grandson, I believe. That's right. But how could you possibly... Someone must have told you we were coming. Oh, yes. We were informed, Mrs. London. Then you must know Susan, our daughter, and Tom. You're right about that fog. If anything, it's getting worse. Gary, this man knows Susan and Tom. He knew we were coming. That's weird. He's gone. Oh, Never mind. Grab the key. If we're staying here, let's get our money's worth of sleep. Well, it's not exactly home sweet home, but it is for the night. I'd hoped we'd seen the last of these places for a while. Same here. Gary, did you notice anything about that man? Hmm? The man at the desk. He was very odd. There's nothing odd about being rude. No, I don't mean that. He seemed to know all about us. Well, if he knows Susan. But he even knew our names. Well? And his voice. Did you notice anything? I guess I was too annoyed with him. What do you mean? Well, I couldn't be sure. Of course, we didn't get a good look at him. But I could swear he was the same man we picked up on the highway. Oh, don't be silly. That's impossible. It's just the accent. Makes all these new feasts sound the same to us. I don't know. There's something strange about... Well, look, you were the one who thought staying here was such a great idea. I know, but I don't know why. Something to do with the way he was looking at me. Oh, yeah? Well, look, uh, let's get our bearings. I'll make a phone call. If I can find a damn phone. Susan and Tom? Yeah, I'll let them know where we seem to be, then maybe they can tell us where we are. Yeah. I'll see if there's a pay phone down the hall. Don't be long. If you promise to be in bed by the time I get back. All I have to do is brush my teeth. on your forehead, darling. It's fine. I saw it, Gary. I watched the wound grow and grow, Gary. I, I saw my brain. What, what did you... What my did brain. You... Oh, Gary, it was terrible. I could see it. What are you talking about? Peggy, there's not a mark. Your head's perfectly all right. But well, Gary... Look in the mirror. Now, you see? Oh, my God. <gasps> Peggy. I'm not there anymore. I've disappeared. Well, that's impossible. It must be some kind of trick. But you're there. It's only me. I don't have a reflection. But what? Now let's... Let's take a look at this medicine cabinet. Ah! 
Gary. Oh, oh, Cam. Gary. Oh, my wrist. There's broken glass all over the basin. Oh, Gary, I'm sorry I dropped a glass when when, when it happened. Give me a towel. God, I'm bleeding all over the place. Keep the pressure on your wrist. Yeah. Now I'll get something to make a bandage. What the hell else is going to go wrong tonight? Did you get through to Susan? No, there's no payphone either. As soon as we get the bleeding stopped, I want to get out of here. You've got yourself a deal. It's ridiculous. I left the car right here. Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. Oh, in this fog, it's almost impossible to see anything. No, 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 no. It's a small lot, Peggy. I know I left it right here. It must have been stolen. But it can't have. We would have heard it. <sighs> Gary, what are we going to do? Well, there's no use going back in there. Uh, we'll leave the bags and walk. Well, there's bound to be a house where we can phone. The police can straighten everything out. But what about your wrist? You should get a doctor to look at it. No, I'm all right for now. My feet are fine. Let's get going. How's your wrist? It's throbbing a bit. Is it still bleeding? I think so. Not much. You sure we're going in the right direction? Not exactly, but we can't be far from where we turned off the highway. Funny nobody seems to live along here. Yeah, you'd think we'd see a car at least. But it's pretty late. (sighs) Never mind. I'd rather be out here than in that awful hotel. I don't understand what that place is doing there. I wonder they get any trade at all. I don't think they do. Felt like we were their first customers for years. Tired? Yeah. You? Not anymore. But you know me. If I stay up long enough, I can go all night. Second wind. Oh. Gary? What? Stop walking for a minute. Why? I want to try something. What? Just stand still. Okay? Well, where where are you going? Come back, Peggy. No, hold it. Stay where you are. Don't move. There you are. What are you up to? You walked up the road and back. So what? Didn't you notice? Notice what? You disappeared in the mist. No. Gary. There was no noise. Not a sound. I walked up the road and back and didn't make one single sound. (laughs) You were walking on fog. But you were always light on your feet. (sighs) Listen, Gary. I tried to make a noise, but I couldn't. Come on, I'll show you. Now stop. See? I walked this far, and not a sound. You must have been walking on your toes. No. It's been like that ever since we left the hotel. Really? Oh, Gary, what's happening to me? I I don't know. I don't understand. First, there was that awful man in the hotel... And then the wound in my head. And that... That mirror. Now, I don't make any noise when I walk. (laughs) It's it's as if... It's as if I... I didn't exist anymore. (laughs) Peggy. Now, Peggy, stop that. Stop it. Come on. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, darling. It's like some terrible dream... Oh, Gary, hold on to me. Yeah, sure, here. Tell me it's a dream, and soon I'll wake up, and Susan will be there, and the baby, and Tom, and we'll have arrived, and everything will be normal again. Oh, hey, Nighthawk, hang on there. We'll figure it out. Now, take it easy. Oh, your wrist. 
I'll be okay. Oh, Gary. Better. Mm. Let's walk faster from now on. Right. I'll never get to the highway at this rate. to imagine that fog was alive and that somehow it could breathe. Yeah? Yeah. And there was good fog and bad fog. If you breathed in the good fog, it made you strong. So strong that if you breathed enough of it, you could fly. <laughs> <laughs> but the bad fog was scary. If you breathed it in, it sucked the air out of your lungs. And if the fog was really bad... It sucked the bones right out of your body. Yikes. <laughs> I was always very careful only to breathe in the good fog. But I never got enough of it. I never did learn how to fly. You never told me that before. No. Probably all kinds of things I never told you. Even 26 years isn't long enough to tell someone everything. Tell me something you've never told me. There isn't anything. Of course there is. It doesn't have to be. No, any. there's nothing. There must be. There must be some silly thing that was part of you that I couldn't possibly know about. You mean... like another woman? No. I'd have known about that. What I mean There is... wasn't, you know. There hasn't been anyone else, I mean. Gary, you don't have to say... But I guess you did, eh? Once you started to think about it. Yeah. These days, with the way people are, I feel like a museum sometimes, the way I am about you. I know. It's funny, isn't it? What? The stuff that comes out on a road in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. That must sound pretty silly. Oh. But you meant something else. Uh, you wanted me to tell you something silly. It doesn't have to be. But it could be. Really silly? <laughs> if you like, yes. Really silly. Well, when I was small... I used to take the plug out of the bathtub before I got out of the water. Then I'd have to get out of the tub and dry myself off and get my pajamas on before the gurgling from the drain stopped or else the glob creature would crawl up the drain pipe and drag me down. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Peggy? Gary, I think I can see a light. You sure? I think so. For, for a moment, there was a gap in the fog, and I saw a light. I'm sure I did. Well, it must be the highway. Thank God. Come on. Oh, I'm... I feel dizzy. Oh. Too tired to run, I guess. I, uh, hang on, Peggy. Take it easy. No need to rush. Let's go. Look, I was right. And the fog's lighter over there. Oh, thank God. Hey. Look. It can't be. What? What is it? That sign. Well, it's just a road sign, and we can tell where we are. When we... Oh, no. Yeah. It's Eternity Cove. We're back where we started. We've been walking in circles. Gary. I'm, I'm sorry, but... But to walk and... 
And end up here and, and the light. It must be the hotel. But that's impossible. We stayed on the road the whole time. We never turned off it. We can't be at the hotel. Well, we are. It's all some crazy joke. Oh, take it easy, Gary. I don't... I don't think it's the hotel. Well, maybe you're right. It's much smaller. Let's see. RCMP, Eternity Cove. Oh, now we can get everything sorted out. If only we'd seen this place when we were by before. Officer, you've no idea how glad we are to see you. Our car's been stolen. And my husband's cut his wrist. Is there a doctor anywhere near? Morning. Can we use your phone? We should call our daughter. She'll be frantic about us. They were expecting us hours ago. Morning. Uh, good morning. Please help us. Gary, I don't think he heard us. He hasn't even looked up. Well, will you get your head out of that book and listen to us? We need help. Morning. Oh, my God. Peggy? What's wrong? It's him. Peggy, it's the guy from the hotel. And the hitchhiker. What are you talking about? He must be a brother or something. Probably everyone in town's related. No, no, it's the same man. Morning. I wonder if you can help us. Our car's been stolen and my husband's hurt. And we've got to get in touch with our daughter. Mr. and Mrs. London. London. Yes, London. Mr. and Mrs. Gary London. Car? Chevette. A blue Chevette. Ontario license. Yes. How did you know that? Did you find it? Registration? Um, STX-176. Oh, can't we get someone to look at my husband's arm? We can talk about the car later. Excuse me for a minute. And the phone. Can we use the phone, please? Surly bastard. Oh, Gary, look at you. You're soaked in blood. You, you better sit down. No, no, no. I'm all right. It's the same man, I tell you. He even remembered our names. I wish you'd calm down. You notice something? What? It's so quiet. Not a sound. No radio. No typewriter. No telephone. Well, it's just early in the morning, that's all. I don't suppose much happens in a place like this. Except car stealing. Peggy. Yes? It just happened to me. What? My reflection. In the window there. It just disappeared. Sorry for the delay, Mrs. London. Mr. London. Do all the mirrors in this town play tricks like this? Yes, they do. That's the first straight answer we got out of you. We found your car. Forget the car. Can you get my husband to a doctor? He really must have his wrist looked at. He's covered in blood. Never mind. Where's the car? Do you have it here? Blue Chevette. We know it's a blue Chevette. Where is it? A blue Chevette answering the description of your car was found an hour ago. Well... It was off the road in the ditch. Badly damaged? Yes, it was. Was there anyone in it? Yes. There was a woman in the car. Stolen by a woman? Was she badly hurt? Yes. Was... Is she... Dead? Not at first. You mean she... She died an hour or so after the crash. Head injuries. It was in the thick of fog, so the car wasn't found for a good while. Uh, I'm sorry. She was identified by Mrs. Thurlow of Shallop Cove. Mrs. Susan Thurlow? But that's our daughter. Our friend of Susan's was killed? 
The report says the accident took place only half a mile from Susan Turlow's home. Oh, poor Susan. The driver was found almost two miles away, out on the highway. The woman wasn't alone? No. The driver was a man. A pair of joyriders. Poor guy. Steals a car and kills his girlfriend. Imagine having to live with that. The woman was his wife. God. Is he hurt? He was. He was? He apparently lost consciousness, but wasn't badly hurt in the crash. He forced himself to the windshield of the car, got out and went for help as soon as he came round. But she died. And he was too late? Yes. Much too late. But he's okay. That depends on what you mean. His body was also identified by Mrs. Susan Turlow. But you said he wasn't hurt. He wasn't. For getting out of the car, he cut his wrist very badly. He bled to death on the road. Oh, no. Peggy. Gary. Yes, both of you. Peggy. Mr. and Mrs. London, now that you're finally together again, welcome to Eternity Cove. 